San Marcos High School edition of KTSW 360, joined by the head coach of the girls track and field and the volleyball assistant coach, Marissa Mendoza. Thank you for joining me today. Really appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and I really want to get into your background because you come from a family tree of a history of educators and coaches. What are some notable people in your family who are coaches slash educators that inspire you to become a coach or teacher? Um, so three of my brothers are coaches. Oh. Um, they've coached. My, one of my brothers been at the university coaching volleyball. Then him and my other brother were head and assistant coach at a school. Uh, my other brother does cross country, track, um, they're CrossFit coaches. They've been everywhere. They were my coaches growing up in elementary school, coaching basketball. They coached me with basketball and they were tough. <laughs> Let's just say that they were tough. Um, then I went on to high school and I have uncles who are coaches. My sister-in-laws are coaches. Um, it's a whole family of wow, us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in high school, I was fortunate enough to have two of my brothers also graduate while I was in high school from college and ended up coaching me as well during track and volleyball. Um, so huge impacts. Um, I saw the impact that they had on my friends and other students, other athletes, them and my track coach. So it just... I said, I wanted to be like them. Um, I wanted to have the same impact on the youth and other female athletes the way they did with me. So that's what helped me get into this path. Yeah, because in high school, you were a multi-sport athlete playing volleyball, basketball, and participating in track and field. In fact, you actually were at the University of Texas Pan American at college for three years as a college athlete. What are some of the aspects of being in track and field collegiate level helped you become a coach at San Marcos High School? Um, work ethic and time management, <laughs> knowing what it consists of. Yeah, first semester was tough. Um, balancing the school, balancing the, what was it, the study hall that we had to attend certain hours because we were the freshmen and had to get our GPA there. And then all the workouts that we had to do. Um, so, and trying to have a social life because it was, you know, freshman year going into college, trying to balance all of that out. So it took me, took me a little bit, but um yeah it was it was fun <laughs> it helped me um tremendously i ended up starting with running at the university and decided it just wasn't for me at that moment anymore so the coach asked me what about throwing the hammer so i kind of laughed at him a sprinter going to be a hammer thrower and he was just like well you have quick feet so come on and try it so i did did it for a year to hurt my back and that's when I stopped so yeah, and I know that during the three years you spent at University of Texas Pan America you actually transferred to Texas State and was when you go to Texas State University it's right down the road to San Marcos was mm -hmm. that one of the reasons you wanted to teach at San Marcos High School just spending that year at Texas State um no not necessarily um I did like the city enjoyed the city when I was there it was gorgeous I could see myself coming back there um, but that was it. No, I wish it was. <laughs> but no, um, I at that moment didn't know anything about the high school sports at that time. So I was just finished trying to finish off in four years at the school. So yeah. So what kind of got you introduced to San Marcos High School? And what kind of got you into wanting to coach and teach there? Um, so I actually right after college, I went over to Austin. And I was a fourth grade teacher for a couple of years and then ended up going into PE. I taught PE for about three years. And at that moment, a coach he reached out to the new PE hires asking if anyone wanted to coach at N. Richards. It's an all-girls school. She had an opening for middle school volleyball. So I was like, yes, for sure. I'm about it. So went there and it was tough going between the elementary and the middle school, high school. I ended up doing volleyball, basketball, and track, coaching all three of them, high school track. Um, but I just wanted to be at a high school where I was able to work with the athletes during the day and having them be more, spending more time with them and getting them to what I feel can contribute to a program. So um, actually, Coach Soto, um, one of my cousins is a friend, one of my cousins is a friend of his. And he told me, hey, there's a PE position to open up. Why don't you apply and see if you want to go there? So I did. And I was fortunate enough to get back into high school and 
work with those girls. It's been fun. Yeah, and I think when one of the reasons that I enjoy covering San Marcos High School is the themes is community relationships, the family atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Many of the coaches preach about being role models and teaching young men and women life outside of high school. How much does it mean to you to have an opportunity to impact lives in that matter? What was that again? How much? How much does it? How, how much does it mean to like just impact lives like that? Oh, it's to me, it's everything. Um, I since I started working there. I hadn't been away from our athletes, mostly the girls, in over two weeks, just a Christmas break, because I was with them all summer, every day during the season. And when COVID hit, it was pretty tough on me not being able to be around them and be able to have that relationship with them. Um, I have several girls, you know, call me mom, wish me happy Mother's Day. Per, you know, I'm like, I'm not your mom, but thank you. <laughs> but. It's, it's huge having, they come to me for all sorts of advice. And, you know, I have one, one athlete that's like, I hate it, you're always right. You know, why are you always right? So being able to just not only help them on the court or on the track, but helping them with life situations that they're going through at the moment and helping them get out of whatever situations they're in, it, it means a lot. I'm glad I can contribute and help them out with that. And they're able to come to me. So I'm glad they feel comfortable with that as well. Yeah. And I think that's also another point is like most of the coaches at San Marcos, because it's changed a lot recently with the newest additions to football and volleyball. It's been a really great community. And if you look at the coach track for the girls team and you have a really great support system with the coaches like Veronica Kendall and then Michael Morris and how that, how have they helped you make the program better as a whole? Um. Coach Morris has a lot of experience. Um, He has helped me well because it was my first head coaching job last year and it was cut short, (laughs) but he's helped me out a lot, trying to get things organized, um, helping me with, okay, I think this athlete is capable of doing this and that, um, what events they're most, you know, will be more successful in, um, workouts, you know, he's helped me out a lot. Coach Kendall comes in a little bit later because of basketball season. Mm -hmm. Um, so unfortunately this past season, I didn't get to see her as much cause we had what two meets and then we were done. So it's been great though. I can go to her for advice if I needed anything. So I'm glad I have them on the staff. And it's not only the track and field staff, but it's also the volleyball staff. And you just had a recent addition mm-hmm. and coach, coach Teo, I've had the pleasure to talk with one of the nicest genuine people I've met. And he said that you were his go-to person for catching up with everything San Marcos. What has it been like to have him on the staff and getting to know him? It's, it's been great. Um, he comes in with a lot of energy, sometimes a little too much for me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's really energetic. Um, it's, it's, it's been good. Um, the girls have really bought into him. Um, we've, we've all learned, myself, the middle school coaches, Um, And the girls as well. We've learned so much within this past couple weeks with him. And it's, it's going to be a great season. Everything goes through. Um, But we're excited. Unfortunately, it's going to be cut short. You know, we're not gonna be able to have all our preseason games, but it's, it's been good. I'm excited. We're all really excited for it. Me as well. And I think one of the cool aspects of the fact Coach Taylor come in is the Zoom calls. He's been able to get former athletes ranging from collegiate to professional levels mm-hmm. and not only talking about volleyball, but talking about like mental health and nutrition, taking care of your body. What has it been like to see that he's taken that initiative to kind of talk about not only volleyball, but life outside of it that we mentioned previously? I think the girls are loving it. I'm loving it too. I'm learning from them a lot as well. It's been awesome that he's been, he has these connections, you know, next week we have a, I forgot her name, but she's an Olympian. She's actually training for the national team right now. So she's going to come on and we're, I look forward to those calls a lot. Hopefully I'm sure if you want to join us, you're more than welcome to join us on that zoom call. Um, I can send you that link, but it's been, there's things that we preach to the girls and only so much will go, but hearing it from someone close to their age, it's, And they're saying the exact same thing, you know, and us and the girls will talk later and it's like, Hey, you see, we've been telling you this, they're saying this, you know, so obviously it works. So 
it's been great for him to have those connections and bring those girls on board. Yeah, I'll have to take it on that. That'd be really cool. Uh, the fact that I've seen that what he's done and talking with former, because he's he's actually what's actually really interesting too is I talked with him. He actually was able to coach at Tech, like know some of the players at Texas State who are on the volleyball team with Janelle mm-hmm. Fitzgerald. So his connections really span from club level to all sorts of colleges throughout the university. So it's really interesting. Yeah. And yeah, but the well, one thing that I found that was really fun, you really connect with your players. And I was looking on Twitter because I was trying to find information, and I noticed that the one thing was that. Maggie Walsh, who's one of the newest additions to the volleyball yeah. team, and how Layla Davis beat Coach Thompson in sprints. And you responded yeah, with Layla Diaz. <laughs> yeah. Layla Diaz. Yeah. Layla, she's going to run track. And asked Maggie Walsh to go to run track. Do you think she'd be a really good track athlete if she put her mind to it? I do think she will. Um, she's 98%. I ask her all the time. Her dad asks her. We have all the football coaches asking her and telling her. Um, she, we talked about it. I think she's going to do it. Um, I know she has club. A lot of our girls have club. So I work around their schedules as long as they're able to come in and get in some work. Um, they're more than welcome to go to their club practices. If that interferes with practice, I'll work with them during the day or I'll go out in the morning to work with them. Um, but I do think she can contribute a lot. Um, trying to get another district championship on the track side. Saw it's been, what, since 2004? So trying to get those girls out there to get them another one. And how has been the adjustment? I know obviously with COVID-19, it's been difficult for collegiate and high school levels to try and get practice in. And I noticed that you posted yesterday that uh, Maggie Walsh was able to, uh, I think it was a- Power clean. Pa- power clean, yeah. I was yeah. trying to figure to find the words for it, <laughs> 145 pounds. So how has that adjustment been for you trying to get some training in for these athletes and how difficult that's kind of been? Um. We've been actually very fortunate to still be training. Mm-hmm. Um, and the girls, I believe they know that they've been very fortunate considering where I believe we're the only school in our district still training right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so they don't take our training lightly. Um, I know Maggie said that she, we actually talked about it yesterday, coming in her first day, she was really surprised at how hard you know, our athletes and our girls work at the school during training. And she's mentioned, you know, that sprinting and the, the work ethic, the lifting, it's very different than what she did at Geyer, but she has adapted very well. And all the girls are, you know, we mask up, we sanitize everything. So they're getting in the work and they're getting in a lot of work. This next week, we're actually off to give them a break because we've been going hard for a couple of weeks. And then we'll continue back, I believe it's August 17th. So they've been very fortunate and we're trying to do the best we can with the little time we have. And and for those who are not familiar with the track team and the volleyball team at San Marcos High School who are tuning in, what are just some things that you can tell the community about these teams and what they bring to the tables, not only players, but what they do outside of the playing that makes them so unique as individuals? (sighs) <sighs> these girls are very hard workers very dedicated um today we didn't have training and these girls will be texting us all the time hey can we go lift are you going to go to the you know to the indoor are you going to go lift can i come and lift um they're very dedicated they're very hungry um we're all very hungry hungry for for some wins hungry for some championships and I believe they're they're buying in and they're just they're great people. They're great girls. I'm very I feel like they're like my little sister sometimes, you know, always wanting to work hard and listen to everything we say. They're very coachable, very disciplined. Um we're excited. <laughs> we're excited. They're great kids. I'm excited as well and I really want to thank you for coming on. I really do appreciate it. It's been great to get to know the coaches at San Marcos High School. And personally, it's been one of the best experiences I had covering team. So I just want to thank you personally for coming out and doing this interview with me. I appreciate it so much. Of course, we look forward to seeing you at some of our games. (laughs) Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, yeah. But thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.